Um, so I, I'm going to talk about communication. And Elizabeth was kind of encouraging us that we'll need to take action between now and then in order to like, get the government to, to change and to actually take on some of the responsibilities. And I think it, it's perfect transition to what I'm going to talk about. Uh, this is a slide of the tsunami in Thailand. And these people are just there facing the tsunami happening. And, and to me, Thailand and the tsunami that happened is kind of like a tidal wave also into uh, the digital era. And, and what that meant is there was a lot of people that were on holidays with digital camera and got to take pictures, videos, all sorts of things. The breaking news were actually not done by mass media outlet, but done by citizen journalism. So in, in, in the creation of citizen media, and that's not a, a new term in the 20th, 21st century, the reason why I like social media tools and the internet is that those, those allow us to be able to instantly get a picture of what's happening in the world, what people are talking about. So um, I always thought ignorance is a bliss, and uh, I'm a gamer, and uh, you know, when my Mario screen started flooding with oil, I knew that it was start, <laughs> starting to be time to like take action. So ignorance is bliss, and we all live in our life, and we drive our car to go to work in the morning, and it, it's really easy like in getting bombarded by Twitter's radio, like internet technologies, uh, your Facebook message, somebody is asking you to like join a group, we hate BP, uh, sign a petition, this, do that um, it's really in our face but a lot of us are really good at like just narrow vision and like closing it down like oh, I gotta go take care of my kids I'm driving I'm parking the parking lot I didn't even gas this week so I don't have to think about the BPO spill I was nice enough to fill up my car last week so you know as long as we keep that attitude it keeps on creating some stories but when you have like you know your return to your gaming and all of a sudden you have oil oozing out of like your Mario like piping you know there's something wrong so what's out there um, there's a lot of really interesting creative folks out there that are creating fun projects. Um, for example, here it's looking at all the different uh, wildlife that exists, like fish. I'm sorry, I'm going to use my French. Uh, turtle, fucked. Fish, fuck. Bird, fuck. Uh, wildlife, fuck. BP, fuckers. You know? Sorry, I have to just say it. Um, they're showing like basically the oil spill and how that's going to affect all the beaches. And, and an interesting fact today, BPPR managed to outdo themselves. They hired a team of private security, or we're talking like Rambos and arm, armor suits and everything, to guard the actual affected beach to prevent citizen journalists and maybe like Sierra Club America from going to be able to go do some actual cleaning on the beach or any real journalists to be able to go. So we have a private company on foreign soil implementing ramble policies to prevent media accessibility to a public beach. And that's accepted. Like The government is letting that happen. Uh, next slide. So it is our responsibility to do our own research and to find facts and to get to the bottom of what we hear out here. We, we heard four different stories tonight and really like there is different approach on how we're learning and how we're absorbing things. But it is our citizen responsibility to be aware. Ignorance is not an excuse. So do your research. Look at what's out there. Facing the reality. Um, so if you didn't know the size of the oil spill, I'm just going to put it right in your face. This is Vancouver, and this is the oil spill as it was 10 days ago. Okay, So it would cover enough territory for us to be able to, well, we could go camping in Kamloop and we'd still be rolling in oil. Or we could go to like, you know, west side of Vancouver Island and we'd still be rolling in oil. That's good, man. It's pretty huge overlay. Accountability. Um, you know, if we can fill up the Olympic, uh, an Olympic sized pool full of oil every three days and 57 days, somebody did a mat here, like that's a lot of Olympic sized pool. We could hold an Olympic. You know, um, they're comparing like the largest spill, <coughs> and we're going to rank right up there. And, and by the way, the area affected is 21% of the full capture and production of fish in the United States right now. So that means that somehow 21% of the food that is going to get on the market in the next little while is going to be oil-induced fish, God knows what else. And that's going to not just affect the ecosystem that we're talking about earlier, but potentially the food that we eat and our own health. Um, it's up to us to all take actions. And 
what I'm hoping to do in the next breakaway session from my part is talk about some of the tools that exist, Facebook, Twitter, so forth, so that you guys can go and connect with the many millions of minions that are out there that are trying to do the same thing as you. So in knowing and taking responsibility, you must take action and it's time for you to take your stand. Not necessarily like jump on BP, like repel off a building, like drop a banner and boycott, but whatever works for you will find a balance. Next slide. So there's a lot of communication tools out there. Perfect. There's a lot of communication tools out there. And uh, some of them are there to help you find others, other like-minded people that want to form groups, other like-minded people that want to share and express themselves the same way you're doing. Uh, I'm using Flickr right now as an example. Flickr is a photo sharing site that I was built here in Vancouver, moved to California eventually down the line. I did a research on golf oil spill this morning, and these were all pictures that people had uploaded. Most of them are on their Creative Commons license, which means that all of you can use them for your campaign and whatever else, as long as you're not making money. Uh, and Basically, those are up-to-date pictures, like Chris Group, for example, is going to upload several pictures up to this site in the next days, probably even tonight, as uh, they're taking pictures of what's happening in Louisiana, covering the Gulf and going over the event. Share what you know. Uh, who's on Facebook here? So. Facebook is very popular and there's Facebook pages and groups that are forming up. Obviously there's a lot of anger out there around BP and their accountability. Um, create, communicate. It's very important to be able to get your message out there and to be creative about how you're going to approach it. The effective campaign of uh, BP Global PR is very fun to see and when we see other like People like that, it's time consuming, but it's a fun like little anecdote for any comic book reader. My name is Robert Scales. If you want to reach me, you can reach me on Twitter or Google search Robert Scales and you'll find me.